Welcome back to Death Mark Two. It was the headmaster. All right. You hold on to that energy. Okay. Today we're gonna figure out who the departed is. We are gonna bring this accursed, devilish nightmare to an end. Do you hear the bass in the background of this evil area? Yeah. That's cool. There are many things I want to talk about. I know you're anxious and impatient right now. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Did you guess? All right. Let's talk about Mashta's disappearance. Where the hell is he? Where is Mashta? I thought you would know! I left him for dead. I thought he'd be back here by now. Shit, that fucking sucks. He's a bad runner. Because I mean, Mashta is running and sweat dripping down his head, sticking to his shirt, showing his pecs, and then his... <clears throat> Alive and well and going to a birthday party. Birthday party, and he takes off his shirt, and then he's... <clears throat> you thirsty bitch. <laughs> easy, Dabalina, yeah. easy. Even after he quit, he couldn't escape from his destiny. I don't think being chased down by a spider woman was on his to-do list. His destiny of being on a stripper pole and running around... Okay, okay, fine, fine. So basically, don't worry about me. Finish this thing. Don't worry about Mashta. Finish uh, the job. He has a knack of showing up at the like the last minute anyway, so just let that guy be him. Alright, how about the red lights in the special building? What's that about? Know anything about that? When did that happen? What red lights? Don't die! Nothing. Oh, there we go, there we go. This is the worst! We don't know what's going to happen! Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Fuck! A ah! Third form. Ooh! Uh, they consume something else. Probably. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, what did they eat? Well, anyway, anyway. anyway I got some bloodstained <laughs> paper here. What's this? Can you read the bloodstained paper? I want to hear the excruciating detail about how those poor women were awfully, brutally tortured for the... Uh, actually, I don't. Can we skip that? Wait a minute. I just realized something. Yeah? How long has the Departed's wedding gone on? Like, as a ritual? I don't... I, d I really don't know. So if this was the one person who just said, "All right, fuck this ritual and fuck I mean, you," I mean, if it's if it's a small village, that tells me that it hasn't been around that long, like you know, hmm. like dozens of years compared to hundreds. You know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe this was the first and possibly only departed's wedding. Yeah. Oh wow! And they chose the best of the best. Well, that's how the sacrifice. That's how sacrifices usually work. Yeah. Wait, did he say sacrifice? No, no, uh, no, you didn't hear anything. I mean, a sack of rice to throw at the brides. Oh, sack of rice. That's lovely. That's, sack, that sounds lovely. The sack of rice. Yeah. That's, that's what I said. Prepare the centipedes. You stop talking so loud. <laughs> what do you mean? Prepare the mold too. Um, uh, the, the centipede. <laughs> You know what a pee is? <laughs> this, uh, These guys are really bad at covering their tracks. I'm trying to keep it- I'm uh, trying to keep it light here, okay? Cause this isn't- Brides were paired with their- with the deities, and... Yeah, I think- I think we got it last time. Given a makeover. This is the worst sleepover ever! Sleepover or makeover? Well, I mean, you, you you make each you have makeovers at sleepovers, so. Hmm. I kind of feel bad for the grooms that just got caught in the crossfire. I wonder if they were in on it. I don't think it would matter too much. What but... the grooms? Yeah. Oh, that would suck. It's like, yeah, take off my head. Well, you know, I mean, yep, for for the good of uh, Mushigami Mushikabi, but you know, it would be terrible if they weren't in on it. You know. The girls definitely not in on it. Maybe they told the grooms, you're going to get some head, and they mistook that instead of hearing beheaded. 
Only now, in his last few seconds of life, did he understand why they would laugh so much when he said that. Oh, I get God! Yep, <laughs> gone. Yep, quick and dirty version, please. <laughs> All right, here is a summary of what happens. D marriage, bug, mold, head, ah! App summary, I loved it. All right, so either Mushigami or Kabigami. So maybe hold on this, and six others, all right. It is a note about the religious oaths and the departed's wedding for the grooms, brides, and priests. Looks like residents of the town forgot the ceremony procedures, given that it had been a hundred years oh, since Oh, Jesus it Christ! Town. Chief priest of Mushikabi Shrine secretly wrote this memo for them. Oh! During the wedding ceremony in M-Town, the two grooms shall present their, their brides with red threads and smear lipstick on their teeth. This ceremony is unique to M-Town, where silkworm and safflower flourish. Previous brides have been overjoyed to be proposed to in such a traditional way. However, the departed's wedding is different. Instead of the grooms, Mushigami and Kabigami, men from the town shall present the brides with insects instead of red threads and smear mode upon them instead of lipstick. This betrothal ceremony shall last for several days. During this time, the bride shall eat bugs and mold to survive. Their bodies shall continue to uh, be consumed by insects and mold uh, until they have turned into the departed brides worthy of wedding the deities. Uh, bleh, bleh. Why are deities the worst? Well, it's, it's, they don't, they're not always that bad. I mean, if you read some of the old uh, mythologies, they're, it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> It's like, oh, the new god, cool. <laughs> let's let's call him he who grants the power of the mountains that stands over the trees and the skies that watches over the shadows beneath. Perfect. Uh, yeah, okay. But still. I have teeth for you. Yeah, we have to put an end to this, otherwise it's just going to keep going. Wherever I go, they'll just be targeted and just... I have to bring it to an end. We, we, we have to end it tonight. Oh, they broke out the music with words. It's time for a grand finale! All right, you, you, you stay here. I mean, we got, we got enough for one more spiritual object to trade in, so, you know, I... Speaking of spiritual objects, I have some teeth here for you. Can I please have it? It's written in the notice. It's in the clock tower. Ah, what a romantic place Ooh. to meet up for a final bout. This is like the fifth time I've played this, but I'm just like, ooh, I'm so excited, huh? <laughs> have you really played this that many times? Well, think about it. I mean, it was the first time, and right. then it was the second time to get the... Other ending. Yeah, and then I've had to do it like a couple of times. Okay, okay. So that, that, even then, this is this is just so exciting. Ah, oh, God. Hey, he was talking about faith. We need to get uh, John in here, and, and uh, he can bring up his crucifix, and you can. The departed is here. That'd be a cross over the century. Two indie horror heroes, you know. You know, Dublina had one a little crucifix. Crying baby. If Dabalina had a crucifix, he just holds it up to the bug demon behind Yasuoka there. See, See if we cover the Shinto demons and the Christian demons, well, there you go. Ah. We need, need to get uh, an Islamic uh, demon hunter, maybe a uh, Chinese uh, demon hunter, perhaps an Onmyoji, perhaps. I imagine there's like Russian spirits, hmm. Romanian spirits. Scandinavian, you know, you know, all the branches of, of Europe. It's like a sample platter of the of the damned. <laughs> you have like you know a, a, a Justice League of spirit hunters. That'd be awesome. Shit. I continue pursuing them, enduring the fear, and putting my life on the line. Why do I do that? Why do I care about people? Oh yeah, because I'm a good person. It's the right thing to do. It's what I was born to do. I just can't ignore those who have stepped into darkness. I mean, if you can fight ghosts, and there's a person who can't fight ghosts getting attacked by ghosts, I mean, what do you do? 
You go home. I got a tape Frazier. Yeah. Give them a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid, Miho. <laughs> yep. I want to save everybody because I got a hero complex. All right. If we play our cards right, we can we can save everyone, or at least as many everyone's as we can save. Whoever's left. Whoever is left. But if we do nothing, then the worst happens. So we need to we need to put out the fire before it burns any more down. We can, I mean, we, awesome. We fucked this up pretty badly. We now you have baby, baby, baby. this, yeah. I'm the spirit doctor, baby. <laughs> yeah, we messed up so bad, we're no longer the spirit hunter anymore. We're now the spirit doctor. As if a hunter is higher than a doctor, but... Yeah. That, impl that implies more, you know, uh, less field work, you know, being a doctor, <laughs> you know. I mean, not always, but... I'm getting hung up on this, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, now... You hear the music, you hear the words, we're about to hit and to go into the final battle. So first let's trade our souls for one last thing. Yes, please. Let's get uh, the bag enhancement, you know, not, just know because. It doesn't matter, but yeah. Do all that. Yay! Alright. You all the lost souls, no more teeth to be found. Deuces. So we'll save right here. Alright. Do you know who it is yet? Yep. You, you know? Yep. You think you do? Go straight up to the departed. Let's go. Okay, so. You think you know? Yep. It's time to go to the clock tower. The departed awaits. Oh, you heard the guy. Let's go. Or we could go to the fox forest and become mushrooms. Perfect! I have a feeling you might uh, know who it is, but it'd be really convenient if you didn't right now. Yo, what's up, departed? <laughs> me. It's me. I feel so- I feel so special. It's all for me. <laughs> the girl likes me! <laughs> this is the most popular I've been with girls since in the third grade. <laughs> when I got that one valentine from the teacher. When my mom brought me my little suit and awesome dress pants and sunglasses. <laughs> yeah! In the red wedding hall, please call the name of your bride who is hiding in school. Perfect. I got my person. Okay. Just give me the cue to shout the name. I won't have time to think about this once I'm inside, so now's the only time I have to think it over. Ooh, crucial choices. You make a save, all that, because, yeah, don't worry. I got it all I got it out of control. Yes! Let's go. First of all, I have some speculations about their identity. Okay. About a hundred years ago, there were brides who were brutally murdered during a wedding ceremony in M-Town. Harboring grudges against all the residents while still longing for marriage, they were devoured by insects and mold. Their en enormous grudges turned them into the Departed, that much we know. Now the real question is, how did the Departed hide in the school? Toshihiko Izumi said the Departed was pretending to be a human. He was telling the truth, and the feeling they transformed into someone I know. They would want to observe their groom, me, for nearby, from nearby. Hmm. People of Konoehara Academy who interacted with me. Many of them were victims in the spirit cases. Yep. Koshi, Shinichi Kakuta, Rizu Sakamoto, no longer here. I couldn't protect them. The ones who are still alive are the headmasters Seizu, uh, Seizo Konoe, Himeko Doryu, Haruake Abe, and Saki Mar Maruhashi. Kinokawa, whose status is unknown. Dead! Michiho died at the clock tower last night because of unknown reasons. <clears throat> if she was a departed, her death would not prove her innocence. It was also the matter of the things we noticed at her dorm room. There's clearly something odd about that room. It's safe to say Michiho Kinokawa is a prime suspect. Let's start deducing now. Assuming the Departed is among the ones still alive, we can exclude Mr. Konoe and Abe. The Departed is said to be a bride, and the ones who hold the grudge are female, so it stands to reason that they transform into a girl. Okay. This is still just conjecture, obviously. But without solid evidence, I'm going to have to make some assumptions to narrow down the suspects to the most likely candidates. What about Maruhashi? I didn't meet her until Mr. Kokuri's case. Before that, the Departed attacked both I and Sho after learning my friendship with them. Marahashi doesn't know that they're my friends, so the chances of the her being a part of are pretty slim. Okay. Doryo is rather suspicious. 
together with Michiho. She's been helping me from the very beginning. Additionally, she knows about all about the case and is quite interested in me. I assume Himiko Doryu is a suspect. There's two. It's just a possibility, but... It's Michiho or Doryu that departed. Their smiles when they called my name and when they told me they believed in me. It all came from the dead. Don't be giving the game away, Dabalina. Come on. The reality would be a bitter would be a bitter pill to swallow. However, there's still another possibility. And that's the fact that Izumi might not have been telling the truth. Izumi was going insane at that time. He might not have had it he might have intended to lie, though that's not to say he didn't lie either. If we consider that possibility. <laughs> then it could be anybody. <laughs> a female doll would seem suspicious. We were eaten by Mushi Kami. The last words match the ritual scene I saw in my mind, especially because the word we could refer to the two brides. Two souls with the same resentment turn into a single spirit, and that spirit is the departed. The possibility is there. You can assume the female doll is also a suspect. <laughs> Nailed it. Unlike a detective novel or police drama, we're not just going to turn up definitive evidence in a spirit case like this. Mm -hmm. Despite that, I still have to make a choice. Among the three likely candidates, which is the departed? Oh, shit. I can't afford to make a mistake. Nah. Michiho, Michiho Kinokawa is... Uh, not the departed. Not the departed. Himiko Doryo is... Not the Departed. Not the Departed. The female doll is... Not the Departed. Not the Departed. None of them are the Departed. <laughs> is this my final answer? Hell yeah, baby! This is my final deduction. Hell yeah! We're screwed! <laughs> Out of all of my final deductions, fuck deduction! Boom! You could be right. Time to go to the clock. <laughs> so wait, we're just gonna yell, No one! Ah! <laughs> uh! <laughs> just scream to the heavens. TBD! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. What do you at home think? <laughs> just wait till next season for the answer. <laughs> Who is the departed? <sighs> it, uh, oh. oh. Seems probably normal. at the top, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's in here? I mean, I kind of blacked out last time I was in here, right? It was just, well, whatever. Uh, up to the second floor. Ooh! Hmm. Spicy! Hmm. Uh... Hmm. That's like a full arm, my dude. Yeah. Oh, it's mold! It's, it's mold, uh huh. Woo! Yeah, okay. Uh huh, nice trick! Uh huh. N good one, hun! Ha 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 ha! Hmm. Alright, so, cursed area, we just gotta figure it out. There was something earlier, but, uh, essentially, up. Yep, just keep going. Down. Huh? Up. Oh my god, it's a maze. Down. Up, down, up, down. And then, uh... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> Uh, what's that? Uh oh! Hmm. This is. One less suspect! The broken remains of the female doll, one of the odds! What happened? Did you trip? Calm your ass down. It's twerking like crazy right now. It's almost like the departed killed her other half. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Uh. Okay. 
Wait a minute. Ooh, a of, something's been gnawing on this. The departed transformed again. You? What did she eat? Oh no. <laughs> oh. Man. Oh great! Devoured the other half. Interesting. So here I thought we were fighting Final Form Frieza, but now when I wasn't looking, she went and turned into Golden Frieza. And I haven't even figured out this whole Super Saiyan 2 business yet. They'll get there eventually. Take me. Ed, man. What do you want to say? <clears throat> Sorry, came out harsh. Eat me. Protect you. Hmm. From red curse. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Or link in description, 20% off. This episode of Death Mark II is brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Not only is it the most fun game I've ever played in my life. I really hope they didn't ruin the moment here. No oh, shit. <laughs> the stone mustered all of her remaining strength just to catch up to me. I must relish in this moment. Come on, catch up with us, man. I said that already. Damn it! Anyway, eat the doll. Man, Nay's gonna eat me! And the red dress. Alright, well, that'll help for the final battle. Anyway... Nope! Oh, curse is gone. Uh, uh... Uh... Who turned out the lights? At least the curse is gone. That's good. Or at least subdued. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna fight that again. Let's go. Mmm, possibly an, an evolved version of that thing. All right, what's your reasoning for choosing not to depart it all three times? Uh, because I wanted to fail on purpose. A oh, good one. Well, that is true. With that said, do you really have an idea about who it might be? Uh, if it gave me an option of everyone we've met, I was going to yell Yasuoka. Because it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Yasuoka! She wasn't, with, she wasn't with us in the beginning, oh, so, I know, I know. so that's out. But. Uh, so... I have a theory. When we reload save, I do want to uh, I'll right. give that theory. Well, yeah, clearly you are doomed because yep. if you didn't say anything, that's a, that's a surefire You're way to dead fail. wrong. The departed is shown there. Are you are you surprised at this point? Then she makes bodies go away. <laughs> she made you kill. A, she made you kill a teenage girl. Come on. Center of a Western style wedding. It's like oh no, red mold that's related to her and her curse. Can it be possible that it's right here now? Huh? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, two and four, upside down. That's how you go up, down, up, down, up. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Just a big um. Jane Doe! <laughs> Uh-oh. Telling. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's just I have to come up with an answer. Oh, no! I'm the departed! It's me! It's me! Alright, let's see this monster. Well, she's a little mad that we didn't figure it out, actually. That proves that we're not really her husband or something, so... Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. Well, Niskul, nice knowing you, buddy. Good lord! Goodbye, sir. Goodbye! Good did not get You did not get it! <laughs> I, think, well, I think one of my favorite tropes in these horror games is when the monster du jour acts as if talking directly to the player. It's like, what What the fuck, man? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> it's like when, you, when in Undertale, when you get like the genocide ending like, uh, ten, like, multiple times, he's like, 
Jesus Christ. And... Oh! You don't even get to see her, her, uh, what? form. Because you were, a, you were a dummy and you didn't choose anybody. I just like that. It's like, come on, player. I believed you. You, did, you didn't even try. You cannot fathom the true form it's, of the it, departed. It's like that kind of resentment that that uh, go that goes beyond all the bad and makes him sting that much harder. Hmm. Uh, I would say the feeling's mutual, but yeah. Let us exchange a brief vow. Mm, okay. But what do I get? What do I get in return? Ow! Owie! Ow! Uh, uh, very dead. Well, that arm is detached. So that's how you get a bad ending. You just gotta choose the wrong thing. Thank you, dear husband. Goodbye. We got fun guide. Well, it is what it is. You know, you, you live and learn, right? You know, it's just it's it's just uh, how it, how it be sometimes. Show me that trophy. Moving on to our next story. Earlier today, we received a report that a man had collapsed at Konohara Academy in H City, Tokyo. The man has now been confirmed dead. Police are currently investigating the case. It nasty, folks. Ew. Wait, like, that's it? I, like I saw pictures, it made it made me throw up. Like ew. <laughs> <laughs> Go try again, dumbass! You got the wrong one! I did it! Yeah. <laughs> departed. I have oh. departed. Oh. Damn oh, it. there actually yeah, is credits. Yeah, there are credits. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, look, man, I don't think I can skip these. Look at all those d actors. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Well, I can't skip these credits, but uh, these don't count, so uh, we'll be right back. By Experience Company Limited. They made quite a game, and that was quite a bad ending, I suppose. We freaking died. Yeah. Kind of hurt. I mean, the mold was okay, but the biting? That really, that really solidified the deal. It's like, oh yeah, not coming back from this. A little nibble would have been just fine, but yeah. actually killing me? What the fuck? Well, we can try that again and see if we can get the correct answer this time. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we'll just zoom back to right where we saved, essentially. And let's go. So you were theorizing about who it might be. Do you have... Uh, t t talk to me. What do you got for brainstorming? So, I've been uh, brainstorming ever since we found out that The Departed was a two-in-one deal. Uh-huh. You got both people as The Departed... You have two women that were cursed. Uh-huh. So, you know, two and two together. Also, I think there's kind of a hint in the bad ending. The fungus. We may have killed the insect half. The fungus half is still there. So I'm going to say Dorio. That's my final answer. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get the correct answer then. Cool. We're going to get to the, to the good. Here is the true identity, okay? Here we go. In the Red Wedding Hall. Da, Please da, da, call da, the name. Uh, da, 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 da. Play skip all uh, this, actually. Yeah, see how we... Uh, let's solve the solve mystery. Solve the Departed's mystery. Solving the mystery. Here we go, la la. La la, solving mystery. Hold the circle button. Who no. the fuck is it? Let's go. It's the R1 button, actually. Oh, sorry. What's, 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 what's that? So, that's the people are the nope, fucking... Nope, not you. Hey, it may be you. you. Hey, it hey, might it be you, too. you or you. It's hey, it's definitely not... Well, it's not you, because you you died in... Uh, not the Departed. Fuck, is it really... Ah, uh, wait. We can do more than one. Yeah. Is it all three? And 
that's the truth. So I was right. It's a two-in-one deal. Michiho and... Yeah, but you didn't you didn't specifically say Michiho and Doryu. Well, I didn't think she counted because she died. <laughs> well? Well, apparently not. Just because she died doesn't prove her innocence, especially if she's a well, party because she can yeah, make okay, me see yeah. whatever she wants me to you, see. You got me there. You got me there. So we're going to have to shout both of their names is what I'm hearing from, from this. Uh-huh. Okay. So... I mean, it was there all along. It's called Death Mark 2 for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the hint of why NG was called NG. Eh? And why Death Mark was called Death eh? Mark. Yeah, because if you, if, if you fuck up the K, it says Mary. <laughs> Death Mary! Ah! Death Mary, no! Ah! All right. I think she. I think she's mad. We figured it out. So, if she does it again, she's truly pissed. Watch. Yeah. Nope. Not pissed. All right. Doesn't solve the mystery of whatever this is, though. Yeah. I've, I've been trying to figure that out. That throws a wrench into my earlier theory that this was the other half of the departed. Well, she exists to throw wrenches into your theories. Believe me, and uh, okay. you're way off. Oh, okay. Whatever you're thinking. I mean, whatever fledgling idea you might have, it's way off. Okay. All right, here we are. Okay, da 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 Right, the very name I have guessed. <coughs> Just remember to point the finger, Dobelina. I wonder if there's a reason why they want me to call them by their name here. Whatever, who Perhaps cares? Perhaps the departed wish to have a groom that really knows every single... Like, your name. Everything, even their terrifying secrets, like... You like frogs! Ah, no! It, Your oh. real name is and Michiho Kinukawa and, and Himeko, Himeko Doryu. Ain't wrong. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, 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 bite, no, bite, no, bite, no! Nah! <laughs> she just sets you on fire this time. It's like you named two oh! women before me. How's that the good ending? <laughs> well, it's better than being bitten, right? That's true. <laughs> Expected nothing less. I hate those kinds of endings. What's up? So you hey didn't girls. actually die. I kind of knew. I kind of knew that uh, the two of you were the departed all along, actually. And if you watch it over again, you can kind of see it. So it's the good thing about foreshadowing good twists. Because is it really? Are they really going that way? Did they go that way? Right on they the did. mark. Really, the death mark should have been the clue from the start, really. Yep. If you're too busy perving on schoolgirls, like everyone thinks Dabalene is doing. <laughs> you two are. <laughs> oh my god. You're the part of my god, I can't believe. <laughs> Yep. The evidence. Wow. Had she not had the mark on her face, the departed would have gotten away with it. Uh-huh. Could have been a shorter game, too, to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Red herring. Everyone else is unnecessary. See, that's not true, because, you know, like, we Friend. need to, like, enjoy a society, and we need to get, like, get, like adult friends, you know? It's, 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 we can't we can't go around killing people all the time. That is, uh, not, in fact, a fairy tale ending where everybody else is dead except for her husband and wife. Your big, throbbing intelligence, Dabalina. My, my big brain! My good blood. <laughs> <laughs> the connections. My personality. <laughs> my good charm. My my charm. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, You're the real deal. Okay, you're both students, uh, you're both dead, uh, you're both ghosts. I was about uh, to say, why is the students thing the first thing? Well, because you're, well, you're like underage, is, is the point. That should be the first thing. I mean, you guys like, what, 16, 17? 
I kind of suspected Doryu when she started, like, really pushing, saying Michiho really liked you. I was like, all right. I suspected her when I, uh, Michiho, when we went to her dorm. Uh, yeah. She's like, bugs, 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 and then I see frogs, 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 That was a big indicator. Yeah. It'd be like finding out that I'm into Sword Art Online all of a sudden. That's how you know that I'm dead and I've been replaced by a, by a monster. Nope. No bite. No thanks. Uh, I didn't like that the first time. It's uncomfortable. It makes it makes uh, no boundaries. Bite. Boundaries. Boundaries. Ba oh, no, oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Oh! Oh! oh that's good. Oh! That's good. What a neat trick. What a bite. Could you like put that away? Uh. 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 Oh my! This would be your punishment if you if you try to perv on students. <laughs> just like <laughs> I just love how she has like split personality disorder right now. It's like <laughs> but wedding first. <laughs> Need to wait until that time, all right? <laughs> what a troublesome child! Wow, <laughs> dear husband, you are a bad man because you really do look delicious. Stop! <laughs> now, what do you really look like, dear husband? <laughs> Not really that tasty. I mean. We are, we are pretty sweet, I'd say. Yeah! Ah! yeah! Ooh! Ooh! It came from the mark! Uh, Woo! Like, I'm thinking uh, the, the artist looked at uh, Doria's face and then took the smear option in I was just thinking, it's, it's like, like yeah, that'll work. I'll go what if that. you just, like, grabbed the skin on your face and just turned 80 degrees or something like that? <laughs> it seems like a Hellraiser thing. I thought I saw that there once. What am I? Okay, they're going they're going crazy. Wanna bite, wanna bite, wanna bite, 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 wanna bite, wanna bite, wanna bite, 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 wanna bite, wanna bite, wanna bite, 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 wanna bite, wanna bite, 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 wanna munch your face and eat you all the damn it. Nom 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 nom. Two long dead spirits who are warped by madness. These are the actual Mayumura sisters. Nope. Nope. Don't want that. You can stop now. Yeah. Anybody got that suspicious paper bag anywhere? Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, I think they're about to do the fusion dance here, if you know what I'm saying. To keep the Dragon Ball analogies rolling. Then they hug one another, turning into a gigantic two-spidered head. <laughs> okay, it's more like uh, Patara earrings. Oh! Yeah. Maybe a little bit of both, I'd say. Let's see that grotesque amalgamation. Maybe it's maybe it's like Nam uh, Namekian fusion, perhaps. Well, e either way, uh, it's it's too disgusting to show on screen, so enjoy the blackness. I don't wanna. Dear future husband. You're thinking that too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A marionette? Huh. Oh, yeah. How the hell am I gonna monetize this? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> Breathe through your shirt. <laughs> and I don't, I don't like that. Oh, I really, I, I, I really, yeah, I don't, really like don't like that part. That's so Ah. Oh. oh. Hi, honey. You uh. You look very, very angry. You look ravishing. What the hell am I looking at? I'm, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 uh, that's, that's my wife. It was very, uh, uh, quite a look, isn't she? Uh, yeah, very convenient that the candles relit. <laughs> Otherwise, we're just staring at darkness. Uh, Hypnotoad? That's so wrong. Okay. Ugh. 
<laughs> Four eyes. <laughs> and then your head gets bitten off. Uh, desire. That's not good. Uh, no. Hmm. That's only what praying mantises do. You can't do this. So what do we do now? Let me bathe all of you in the color of int. Oh, no. That's it not. Ah, I said no! I said no! Yeah, get him off! Oh. Ooh, that's worse. Well, I don't want to look at my arm. I think worse. something bad's going to happen if I look at my arm. Suspense! <laughs> all right, here we go. Suspensive act. What do you, what, what, what do you think? Consume you doll. Consume doll? I don't know. Uh, we, we, got a, we got a bigger problem. Uh, dried up frog. Dried up frog. Uh, uh, hold towards the deck. Okay. Good. No! And then the insects are like, no! <laughs> and the department's like, no! And then the audience clap. <laughs> and they're like, Hilarious. Yay! Hilarious. <laughs> oh shit! Ah! But, wait. Frogs drive away bugs. That's right. That's right. Who told me that? Da da doll. This might work then. <laughs> well, it's cool that one single dead frog can stop an entire uh, swarm of insects, so that's good. Just imagine if they flew around to avoid the frog and then hit us in the back. Uh, Cheap oh. shot. <laughs> What are they say? Bugs? Gold? <laughs> Sorry, uh, g gold? Uh, d uh ar I don't understand. I can't. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> ah! Ooh, it's that red stuff. Yeah! It's caked on. I oh, man, I want to just itch it off. Uh, uh. It's like, don't do that! It's like instant necrosis. Yeah! Mold isn't this color, bitch! Alright. How do we dispel mold? Let's see. Alright, how do we get rid of the mold? How do we get rid of the mold? It's this damn mold, it fucking hurts! Oh, what do we what do we fucking do? I can't even think right now, it hurts! Ah! Take toad, rub all over mold. That's bugs, not mold! Oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> Suspicious <laughs> uh, liquid bleach! Shoot the mystery! No, 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 no take the female doll's head and you eat it! Oh, really? She said it, it'll uh, get rid of the red curse. Oh. <laughs> Pour bleach all over your arm! Let it oh, be And it's swinging it! Way worse! <laughs> <laughs> it's just burning off your skin, letting more of the mold in. Oops, oops, oops. Now there's mold growing underneath the skin! That's perfect! <laughs> See, this would be a perfect time for Dobbleta just to- Oops, 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 oops. Oh, oops, oh, that's, oops, that's, oh, not, that's not good. Oh, uh, oh. Ooh, that, that may have been the wrong choice. <laughs> then the studio audience laughs. She's right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> You see, no one would have thought to eat the doll's head. Way to break the mold, Bob uh, Dobbleina. Dobbleina. No. Bobbleina, Mr. Dob Dob Bobbleina. There, we go. I can't even say the name wrong. Mr. Bobbleina, Mr. Dob Bobbleina. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's from that song by uh, Fell the Donkey Momo Hypian. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you say? Words. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, buddy. Well, look who's come crawling back. No. 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 Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> Here we go again. Always wants a bite. Always wants a bite. Tries to get a bite to eat. I, don't do it too. I can't give you a This crazy woman is thirsty Jeez. and hungry. Insatiable, I tell you. Find out my name. Well, last name was Dangerfield. She wanted to take my last name. <laughs> wanted to take my arm too. Can't be the dream wedding that you always wanted. No, it is what I always wanted, you idiot. <laughs> she somehow tricked herself into thinking that this is how you're supposed to do a real wedding. 
Ouch. Some, maybe somewhere in their madness or their, their crazed anguish, who knows, but... Sympathy. Sympathy is how we have to solve this. You calm down, all right, just calm down. All right. No, you can't bite me! Enough! You know, surprisingly, the more you say it, the less I want you to do it. Bite, 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 bite. I just want to bite your face, bite your neck, bite your arm, bite your back and thigh. Bite your back and thigh. That's pretty good. I like that. I like that. All right. Give back to them. All right. What do we got to give back? Oh, Crimson Dress. Yes. Uh... Uh, present it carefully? Yes, carefully. Here? It's yours. It's beautiful. I loved it. It doesn't fit me, though. Sorry. Oops! Uh, uh, oh, okay. Got it. Oh, no! Oh, God. You idiot! You've doomed us! No! I shall give you this dress. Give. <laughs> give now me. Right now. Sure. Are you sure this dress is made of red silk thread? I mean, red vermilion. Yes, red and yellow. Close enough. It just here, just here. You want the real deal. You don't want this. You want the honest to god wedding. <laughs> I hit something. You see what a little bit of kindness can do. A little bit of kindness can bring pause to 18 entire episodes of misery and madness. Remember the true vows you long for. Oh, this is gonna be good. I think we're getting through to her. Yep, closer. Yeah. Let's see her. Uh, 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 you're What's close. Up, you disgusting monstrosity. Uh, oh, man, she is just radiating hatred right now. I said no! No, 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 no. You're still getting through, my dude. Oh, that noise, though. It sounds like a sped up, mixed up version of their suffering when they were hanging on those trees. Ooh. What is a traditional wedding? I believe the groom usually gives something to their bride. Aww. It's still not what else, to, what else should I do? What do we do, man? What do we do! What do we do! Fuck! Ah, uh, vermilion ink? Vermilion ink. What do we do? What do we do? What oh, do we... uh, on the teeth! On the teeth! That's good! Oh, we're gonna lose a finger. I mean, if it fails. This is where we have to put on gloves. Ah! Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> we just couldn't get the lid open, so. Okay, good. That that, that was correct. So. Okay. Yeah, just just to get you sweating, you know. <laughs> you gotcha, player. <laughs> Freaking butterfingers. <laughs> Get the fucking thing open! Get, get, there we go. Ah, there. Let me put this on your teeth. Let me paint your teeth red. <laughs> get the paper back! <laughs> Here you go. Uh, hey. This is what it was supposed to be. This is what it was supposed to be like. Instead of the ridiculous torture sequence they were put through. Oh.
this, I mean, this is all you wanted, right? You just want someone to give you some, you know, a nice dress and, uh, put red shit on your teeth, which you can now see on their sprite. Mm-hmm. My bride! Oh, cringe. <laughs> At least I think so. And then I died. Uh, speech isn't red anymore. For so, so long. It, it, it come back to that. Just, it, it. Wow. That's all it took, huh? No shit. <laughs> 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 huh. How about that? Huh. Well, the departed was exercised. I think I, I think I lived. I think that was the right choice. Huh. You think I may be dreaming? Uh. What is it? Yeah, that's a very good question. However... Uh, Time to go. Unfinished business. You gotta gotta do some cleanup here, I think. I think the curse is finally gone. Well, there's one easy way to find out. Find a friend to sacrifice. Somebody hey, get the hey, bugs! Hey, if I did it right, you'll live. It'll be fine. Doryo and Michiho probably died long before we were called. Mm-hmm. Like a long time. They probably died at the second they went into that clock tower, and the departed got them. But... Hey! No red lights! With an enormous body count, we can finally bring this to an end. So, how to go? My neck feels a lot lighter. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll finally get married, and what's my wife do? She goes and dies, that crazy broad. <laughs> she goes and disappears <laughs> with half my money. She disappears. Just wants to dress herself up and goes on night in the town, never see her again. <laughs> she ate lipstick before she left. It's weird. It's too bad I called him Dogley and not Dangerfield. <laughs> Next time, okay. Mr. Dangerfield, you know it's inappropriate to be hanging out with students. Death Mark 3, baby! <laughs> oh. Hey! Good news! The curse is gone! Bad news? They found the missing students. <clears throat> Fuck! Hey! I know who that surly voice is! Oh, annoyed douchebag sound? Oh my god! Smashed up! I <laughs> Lost my phone. Oh, you dunce. Took me a while to work to find a working public phone. Like, first I had to find an inn, then I got some dinner, then I uh, went and got a new pair of shoes, and then I found a payphone. <laughs> I, I went home and went to sleep, and then, yeah. You know, and then I went back to that payphone, and then I called you. <laughs> uh, I did it. I think I'm divorced now. 
Okay. Then. I signed up with an app. Crap. Uh, I don't know. I think so. I think I did. I feel like we did. I mean, it looked. It looked. I mean, we did, we did everything right. Perk so. the fuck up, man. Uh, I'm on, it, it, it's a solemn occasion, dude. It's not. It's not that simple. It's not like, all right, we did it. I mean, we 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 got, we gotta like look at the aftermath of things that left behind, you know. So many deaths. See, I'm, I'm not a cop. I work with sympathy. You see. I could tell by his tone. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounded like okay. As soon as he gets here, we head out the back door. <laughs> guys, guys, what the hell? Come on. We might be able to sleep tonight. Whoa. Report, Doppelina. Bite, 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 bite. Uh, red dress. Uh, oh. Oh, it was the dress. Okay. Oh. Hmm. I miss Mary. Cold autumn wind continues to blow through H City. One night, the sound of a bell can be heard coming from the empty school. Sounds like someone wailing, lonely and sad. A funeral bell. For whom does it toll? For me! Is it for the victims of this case who were cursed to death by the spirits? Is it for Himeko and Michio, whose bodies were stolen by the departed? Or is it for the poor girls who died at their wedding hundred years ago? Short answer, yes. Long answer, sure. Whatever the case, this bell's peal might mark the end of the strange incidents involving the departed. However, it doesn't mean this is all over. Epilogue! Even though I've only had the name Spirit Doctor for a short time, I'm still someone who can connect with spirits. So let's look deeper into, their, into these deaths. Ooh! Do we get to exercise the spirits of the Departed's victims? Volume 4! Volume 4! Volume 4! Volume 4! Make it now! Make it now! I'll buy it and I'll play it and it will be great and I will tell everyone to play it too. For the seal engraved in my heart. Arr, 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 arr. It plays with balls. Oh, oh, I'm not used to that bright color. Oh, jeez. Oh, the sun. My, my eyes are fucking bleeding here. Jeez. Woo. Chapter seven, the parted's wedding, and that's the end of chapter seven, and that is the end of the game. Fantastic. That was great. I liked it. All right. Is, is that all you got to say? Just, I just wanted the song to take me away. Go, song, go. No, that was fantastic. Well, I got to say the uh, Spirit Hunter series to me is three for three. It just doesn't miss. It, it, it has not missed. Uh, not missed <laughs> once. Mishta. It has not missed once. Not even a little bit. And even when we took a small, uh, small break to do uh, Paranormal Sight, just because this had just come out and we were waiting for an English release. Yeah. Like, it wasn't out yet. It didn't come out until February this year. Man, that's nuts to think about. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to let the people in on a little secret of when we started recording this? About a week after it came out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we've been doing this for a long time. Happy Halloween, by the way. You know, what's funny is that if you go into PSM profile, it's a big uh, aggregate site for uh, the PlayStation trophies and all that. If you look at the Platinum trophy, 
Number 13 on uh, the first achievers of the trophy is yours truly. You're number 13? I'm number 13. Only 13 yeah. people bought this? No, I mean like... Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. I'm it was like a week or two after it came out when oh, I initially played okay, it. Okay. Yours truly is, uh, is one of the uh, earliest platinum holders of this. Oh, of this that's game. awesome. Because I, I got a day one and I, 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 I played the heck out of this. If I remember correctly, you had a hard time actually getting this game. Or was that me? That's you. No, that's you. I had Fuck, an e that was me? I had an easy time getting this game. Shit, that was me. I mean, our best buy, who's usually a hit and miss on whether they can do pickup or not, was like, oh yeah, we can do it, and I just, you know, pick up, and there we go. Yeah, I, yeah. when I ordered mine, it was like, it'll be here on release day. Uh, cut to two weeks post-launch, and they said, it's gone. I don't know where it went. Where'd you get it from? Best Buy, same as you. It's weird. Exact same place. See, I got, so got the PS5 version, you got the Switch version, and, this, yep. and that, was the, that was the difference. Just for whatever reason, they threw their hands up and went, It's, got, it's not here! Oh no, so we're just gonna cancel it because it's not here yet. We're gonna keep your money, though. Anyway, order it again. We'll still take your money, and, too, so... Uh, thanks, Best Buy, thank you. I can't think they didn't, like, you know, try to help at all. Oh, I mean, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can secure another copy for you. I mean, the most the, like. the most they did was refund me, and then they say, Oh, I guess let's try again. Just, just give you a choice, like, either we can try and secure another copy for you, which will take time, with, well, like, you know, like a, maybe a discount or something like that. Nope. Or, or maybe we'll send you a $10 gift card. For, yeah, for this game? That's a, that's a perfect, that's a perfect. For this game, nah, that's not happening. It's, it's, it's customer support, that's all Oh, it is. I know, I know. But I, but I, I, I love this. This is, uh, just the, the, ap the atmosphere alone is worth the price of admission. Of course, the, uh, the, abs the brutal deaths, of course, are, uh, yes. are, are certainly something to look at. But it, it doesn't go too far. It, it, like, it goes a little far in, like, the subject matter, but, like, that's how you create sympathy, by, you know, saying the real-life actual thing is worse than the ghost spirits and all that, you know, so that way you have to, that's how you touch your audience, essentially. The ghosts were so cool. We had some really good ones this time around. Oh, I loved all of them. We had, we had a lot of really hard moments, though, a lot, a lot of really tough pills to swallow. I mean, that, I mean, that first case with the, with the bullying, that's, that still keeps me up at night sometimes. That's just absolute heartbreak. But that's, that's, that, that's the great thing about horror. That's how it creates empathy. It's, uh, you, 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 uh, you sympathize with, the, with these monsters, these, these spirits, essentially. And uh, you learn to find the monsters in real life, I, 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 I guess. Just, gonna, just to pull words out of my ass. I'm gonna have to play the Spirit Hunter series in my spare time, because I still haven't played any of these in my own time since we did LPs of them. So now I can go back and re-experience them all. So the first one. Maybe except, I'll... except, but you'll have all his memories at this point, so it won't matter too much. That's you, fine. You, you know who the main bad guy is too. But... Yeah, that's fine. And, oh, here's here's oh. something cool. View the crest for the backers. Okay. Wow. Oh, did you find yourself? I didn't back this game. It was a Japanese back game. Oh, right. So, sixty-two pages worth of backers. And I, and I don't have a Bank of Japan account, so okay. I like the, the school song touch, that's, that's thinking, nice. That's great. These are all the students that helped us make this game. And here's the victims. Oops. Oh god! The Departed killed how many people?! Oh no! Oh god! Let's see, 62, there's about... Uh, oh, here... <laughs> and of course the English titles are... The, the ones the put through Google well. Translate, yep. Beautiful. Well, thanks, guys, for helping make this game. You, it, you, you did something wonderful here. A week has passed since that night. I died on Tuesday. Oh. I went to bed the night after The Departed left, and I woke up dead. <laughs> yep. Well, at least the rumor's been squashed before it can turn into something worse, so... I mean... It'll, it'll only be as abnormal as this, as far as we're concerned. Disappearances, no body, new uh, teacher that shows up. I mean, no more notices, no more disappearances, no more dying. We just have to let the rumor mill chew this one out and just gotta, just gotta live with it. There's not much we can do about that. 
And you thought he did it. It was a decent guess. It was. Until we found more evidence. Man, that kind of sucks. It's just like, I don't know what's going on. See, he stands as, as our authoritative figure that's keeping us here. If he, uh, I'm sure if he would have fired us, then the party would have gone after him, too. You fired my hubby? Cursed. It would be like Brad's wife all over again. Why did you fire my husband? <laughs> Eight years he served. It, it wasn't that long, hon. Yeah, too bad for Sakamoto, and, and those two. Too, too many good people died here. Well, two of them we didn't truly know. They died a long time ago. <sighs> wow, that sucks. That's You're getting a lot of mileage out of that excuse. 23 people have gone missing? I don't know. What am I, their caretaker? When they're on school grounds, kind of, yes! They disappeared after they went home. What do you think of that, coppers? Uh. Why were they on the clock tower to begin with? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, what? How long have you had this? Really, oh. I really could have read this like like, like the first oh, you, day, man. You, you, you. Great. So this had all the answers, and you've had it the entire time. Yeah. I mean. Oh, oh don't worry about that. Water under the bridge. You bastard. You had reasons to. Oh, he's alive. That's good, at least for another couple weeks. That's expected. All right, I really want to see what's in that book. Diamond, what's up? It's a big old epilogue. We got to see our friends. The ones that are still alive, at least. What's up, Dobelina? I thought you were gonna kick the bucket a long time ago, but hey, hey, good to see ya. If, if only for another uh, another month or two. That's that's uh, oh, okay. Another couple weeks. Accidentally kicks bucket on floor. Mm. Uh oh. Well, at least he is not curse anymore, so that's good. Well, hey, it's water under the bridge, man. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm a big boy. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is what it is, you know. Yes, let's remember all those who died, and I think there was only like, what, two or three? Total, or? I mean, p people will die no matter what, but there's some deaths that you can prevent, and this is the game kind of saying, okay, let's uh, take a look back and see who's all here and who's not. Gotcha. <laughs> Yo. Go find more ghosts to make happy. I hope we get a fourth game, too. I'd love to see it. Just imagine, out of nowhere, it is announced the day the last episode goes up. Cool. Fuck. Do it. Don't be a coward. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now that Michiho and Doryu aren't here, I kind of realize how much the student body really hates me. Except for you, you're not even a real student here. Hi. And I almost died. Tee hee. Everyone's still alive! Yay! Because you can't afford any other outfits for you. The extremely small budget ran out, like, two departeds ago. 
We're lucky we got seven chapters out of this. We had to stretch her out to like three. <laughs> we accordion the departed. <laughs> oh, twice the spirit, you know, twice the screen time, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up? Wow, you're here too. You know, girl pre. I want to do that too. <laughs> Uh, I don't even need the couch. I just need a drink. Just, just, I just need a, I just need a drink. Just give me the drink. I'll fall asleep on the bus. It's fine. Don't even need alcohol. Just, I just need something to drink. Yeah, just, just ice like, water, please. Like, like, like a water, a juice, a sprite. <laughs> no, that's the good coffee, stuff. tea, sarsaparilla, carrot juice, Powerade, milk. You know what? Just a cup of air. Coconut water. <laughs> We're getting called out. Oh no. Yeah, what's it? Alright. Yeah, I know why I don't have my friends over anymore. They keep making fun of me and my night habits. See see I feel like that he has his big mansion, he, he's like alone all the time because like I don't want people here, everyone go away, but his his Mark Barra friends show up anyway out of the blue. It's like, what are you guys doing here? Cool We're here way. for dinner. Like, I didn't say anything about dinner. You guys aren't coming here for dinner. I don't fucking think so. He starts sitting down. It's like, I invited the guys. You did not. They are not coming here. Hey, hey, Domelina. Get out. Get out now. And then and they cut to five minutes later. All right, let's break bread. And, uh, did anyone say grace? And, uh, See, he doesn't seem like the type to completely flip out if the Mark Bearer show up. Because who does he have left? The nerd guy? That's all he's got. He's got the nerd guy, he's got, uh, Daimon, he's got show and I, and he's got, uh, Hero. No, I mean people who actually want to show up. Uh, well, I mean... <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I could just see Hero and I just having a staring contest, you'd be like, <laughs> I'm more miserable than you. Uh-uh. No, I'm more miserable. <laughs> Strange feeling I can't shake. Ooh, walking around in shoes that don't fit, readapting to mundane life feels like. I mean, we've been fighting the spirit for a long time now. Feels like it's almost been three weeks. So I'm wondering if there's like one last bit to fully exercise the departed. Something we forgot. Hopefully this sheds some light on it. Oh, here we go. The first headmaster knew about M-Town's horrific ritual, the Departed's Wedding. He apparently learned about it from a former M-Town resident. He wanted to offer condolences to the victims of the ritual and those who were claimed by the Departed's wrath. He particularly pitied the Mayumura sisters whose dreams of a happy marriage were betrayed. Inside the clock tower that was built to celebrate Konohihara Academy's 10th anniversary, he built a room as a memorial service, complete with an altar where he offered a western doll. That doll was the female doll in the scarlet dress. He got it from someone who dealt in, spirit, uh, in spiritual items. Ed and Lorraine Warren? It said the female doll was made to be an offering for a pitiful soul and had hidden spiritual power. Learning that, the headmaster believed the doll could soothe the souls of the Mayamura sisters. He then dressed the doll in a beautiful bridal gown. In his mind, he was being thoughtful to the sisters who had their matrimonial wishes Aww. twisted into a grotesque ritual. His love for antique things was probably what led him to choose the red dress over a now traditional white gown. The first headmaster may have thought he was helping, but romanticizing the tragedy of the two brides that kinda made it worse. That's what pissed them off. The deep-seated grudge of the Mayamura sisters remained in the Konohihara area, and that grudge began dwelling inside the female doll. Eventually, the departed was born. Ooh, so that was the incubator. And that's where the journal ends. The first headmaster passed away after that. Chapter 2, the reason why it inhabits people's bodies and- Oh, pfft. Chapter 3, I'm dead. Chapter 4, the afterlife. So he accidentally created the departed. 60 years later, wow. 
compacting cultural appropriation on top of a torturous ritual, you know, not, not good. After the first headmaster's death, the female doll disappeared. It was taken from the clock tower, or at least the part normal people could access. The place the doll ended up must have been the Red Room, somewhere only the departed could access. They were awaiting a new vessel other than the doll, one in which they could make their dream of a happy marriage come true. Aw, man! That replacement finally came after so many years. Me. The two young girls who were just exploring one summer break, two female students visited the clock tower. Already cursed, apparently. Those students were the real Michio Kinokawa and Himiko Doryu. They were there for the clock tower renovation project to commemorate the school's 70th anniversary. We never, ever spoke to the real Doryu and Michio. Ever. They killed them using the curse of insects and mold, claiming their bodies and memories. Oops. The older sister Mikiko Mayumura became Himiko Doryu, and the younger sister Michio turned into Michiho Kinokawa. Then hid in the school, attempting to find a husband that was suitable to fulfill their wish for a happy marriage. So wait, did nobody else call into question? It's like, oh, hey, who are you? Weird. And the rest is history. And then, yeah, the, the rest of the game goes on. They try to find a good groom. They can have their right wedding and took a lot of bodies and a lot of hurt and pain to get here, but I guess they finally got it. Both of them looked and acted far too human. Wow. This for marriage and for what? Why do they do all that? It's dumb. Hmm. Ooh. God, they fed on their innocence. Ew. I don't know if this is uh, appropriate music to play on something like this. Well, I mean, the sisters got to experience teenage love, I guess, again. In a modern high school, I, I mean, I guess there's that, but uh, you kind of killed everyone to make it happen, but, you know. All in the name of love. Y you know, the ends don't justify the means, really. Ooh, that's the Sang word of the day. Winnowing, jeez. Dang. They ended up choosing the spirit's path. they would have been shown an ounce of kindness, you know? You've seen what just, like, a, a, a pinch of kindness can do to a spirit. It made them want to eat us. Yeah, but it makes them go, What are you doing? I thought you would, like, hate me. Stop. All the time. You. And then I beat the bejesus out of one of them, and then the <laughs> other one just disappeared. Oops. That, was that love? Was not so in vain. The departed felt love for the first time in a hundred years or so. Well, at least uh, the girls didn't get eaten by the departed, I don't think. Uh, they were immediately killed. <laughs> they were killed, but uh, at least they didn't go into the greater cause, I guess. Well, if um, the Mayumura sisters were Michiho and uh, Doryu, who was the doll? I want to forgive the departed. Who was the doll? Is there a secret chapter we're about to dive into? I'm just asking, who was the doll? I thought it was just, like, a catalyst. But, yeah, apparently there is somebody in there. I mean, it, it wasn't just nobody. Ah. I wonder if that's uh, the girl's souls stuck inside the doll. They always helped me. Makes sense. 
guess it's time to start <clears throat> working, you know. It's just, just fall asleep, please. I know that feeling. Time to start working, I say as I turn on my console. I head to my room on the second floor. And then... Promptly collapse. All right, all done. Aww, piece it back together. Finally managed to fix it. What about the piece I... the techniques I learned at the workshop. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Information about doll care. Though it's fixed, her soul won't come back. I kinda eat it. This female doll saved my life. The departed's grudges moved from this doll to Doryu and Michio. So who was a spirit inhabiting this doll? I have a hunch. It may have been the souls of the real Michiho nope. and Doryu. Called it! Those two girls were brimming with spiritual energy, which is like the de de why the departed chose to claim their bodies. And I have a hunch that their souls dwelled inside this doll after they were killed. The way this doll's appearance changed as the departed's transformed might, e might be evidence that the girls' souls were still connected to their bodies. Can't play the piano worth a damn, though. Without their memories, not knowing what to do. Huh. Just to get back at the departed. <laughs> wow. What's the point of me fixing this doll? Maybe they'll come back. What would it say? <laughs> I mean, the departed's dead now, so what would what, what would it say? What would what point would there be? There Kill be me. You know, it's got to have two creepy dolls in the mansion. You know how it is. Yep. I'm a doll collector now. Now I hope the right one talks to me. Yeah, you gotta do something to make you feel better about yourself. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's fine. They're in there. And that is the end of Spirit Hunter 2. 3. I mean, 3. Death Mark. Death Mark 2. two. two. It's confusing. Spirit Doctor. Spirit Hunter 3. Death Mark 2. Spirit Doctor 1. There's the plat. And there's the platinum. And now the female dolls now to the gallery. And that, my friends, was Death Mark Two, one of the one of the greatest uh, series of horror games you could ever hope to experience. So, uh, what's that we unlocked there, bud? Oh, that's the gallery. That's where you can see all of the uh, extra, mm, all the uh, artwork. Not that. And, uh, not that. Uh, what? What? Oh, not that. The other thing. Oh, configuration. That's how you mm -hmm. can set all your. Uh, no, the other thing. Brightness and all that. Do we know. have extra stories after the fact? Some epilogue content. Hmm. See you next time on Death Mark 2. Woo! Yay, more!